Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Salesforce Start. Uh, in the last video, we discussed about how to set up sales agreements, right? Uh, settings and all, right? So in the, these are the settings we have done in the last uh, video, right? All these things. So if you want to watch all those my previous videos, you can go to my channel and you can watch all those videos, previous videos, okay? In this video, uh, we'll discuss about uh, sales agreement life cycle, okay? So uh, this is the, like a sales agreement life cycle, period, right? Uh, this is the agreement last week we have created in the last video, right? So uh, there are different, different status available. So this field is uh, same like a, a stage field in the opportunity object, right? So we'll go one by one status. What is the use of each status? When it will come, all those things. Okay. So first one is draft. So whenever you can create a sales agreement, by default, it will be a, like a draft status. So in this status, we can add the products and uh, we can do the, some changes, uh, quantities, and all those things we can add in this status. Okay. Second one is like a approved. Okay. So generally, what is approved is so normally. Uh, Directly, we can make the approval up. Users can, users directly, uh, user can directly, he can approve the agreement or we can follow some like a sales agreement uh, uh, settings. For example, if you see here, if you go here, you cannot see the approved status, right? So why we, we cannot see the approval status here is because at the time of sales agreement uh, settings, so we have option here restrict users from self-approving uh, sales agreement, right? Because of this, uh, they cannot see the directly approval uh, status here. We, because we have to follow some approval process, we have to click the submit approval and all those things we need to do, right? In case if you don't want to use any approval process, right, then what we can do is we can disable this option, right? So once you disable this option, now if you go to the sales agreement, right? So you just can uh, manually update the status to the approval if you see go now click the status now you can see the approved status right see so this is the option second option right once it is qualified then we can make it approved self approved otherwise if you want to go to the approval process you can use this option right these are the second second st uh, status of a sales agreement okay so now third one is activated so once everything is approved, then it is ready, ready for the like uh, uh, sales, right? So when it will come activated, activated is, so whenever our sales agreement, okay, it reaches the start date, right? For example, uh, if you see this agreement, what is the start date here? So once our agreement is reached this date, it will automatically goes to the activated status. Now, because it is so still, uh, we can make it approved, right? Once I click approved now, Right. If I click save, it will go to the activated status because already this date is reached already. Right. For example, now if I click a save here, see, because already start date is reached. Right. In case if it is a future date, it will be approved only. It will not go to the activated directly. Right. Why it is go to the uh, it is went to the activated because already agreement is reached the start start date. So that's the reason. Once it is approved, automatically it will go to the activated status. In case it is a future date, for example, today is like uh, uh, December 6th, right? For example, if it is a future date, uh, December 8th, so it will not go to the activated status. It will be approved only. Till December 8th, it will be approved only. Once that date is reached, no? it is crashed, then only it will go to the activated status, okay? So first is a draft status. Once you add the products and all those things, in case if you want to do a self-approval, then you can do the approval. So once you approved, so this agreement will be activated by default if it is reached to the start date. In case if this date is a future date, so we need to wait till that date to activate the sales agreement, right? These are the three uh, important uh, status. So after that, what we have is under revision, right? Once your agreement is activated, in case if you want to do any further changes, you want to do some uh, you want to add new products or you want to update any existing quantities in the sales agreement, right? Here you want to do any changes in the terms, quantities, or you want to add any products for this, right? So then what will happen? It will go to the under revision status again. For example, we'll try, okay. 
a three five eight thousand is there for example we'll try to add one more nine thousand click next for example i'll take a quantity is 12. click save right so now we have added product right now if you go to the detail page so now you can see automatically uh, status is going to the under revision right because of uh, changes in the agreement activated agreement so you want to do more changes on that activated agreement then the status will go to the under revision right that is a fourth uh, uh, stage right in the sales agreement fourth status in case anything you wanted to change this right so renewal so when it will come renewal is so already we have uh, given some settings right so renewal is 60 so here what is happened so whenever our sales agreement is ended right before 60 days you can click the renewal button now you see for example this is right 31 12 december right so already almost now we have reached right it is it is under 60 only so now you can just click a renewal option you can just uh, do the renewal the agreement right that option i'll show you in the next video because uh, I want to explain more about other fields also in this, right? So that will show you in the next video. That is a renewal. And cancel, in case if you want to cancel your agreement, you can cancel, you can terminate the agreement. And we have something called expired also, right? So you can, uh, once it is reached to the uh, stage, right? So it is not activated, then it will go to the automatically expired status also. Right? These are some important, right? So draft initial stage approved you can user can manually approve or we can go for approved process third one is activated once the approved once agreement is approved so it will reaches the start date in the agreement right so then automatically it will become activated in case after agreement is activated you want to do some changes then it is under revision right so in case if you want to renew a complete sales agreement and products you can click the renewal button so it will uh, come uh, based on our sales agreements settings page. Like you can put the days, how many days before you want to renewal your sales agreement, right? So then other one is cancel. So the agreement, you don't, they don't want to products and all, then just we can close the agreement, we can cancel the agreement, right? So this is all about the sales agreements uh, life cycle, draft, approved, activated. In case we do any modifications under revision, right? In case it reaches the uh, term renewed, or uh, in case if you want to cancel, you can cancel, right? So in the next video, like we'll discuss about uh, uh, more about this renewal option and uh, how we can calculate actuals, right? So just in the till now, what we did is just we added only we created a, a agreement only, right? So so for example, again I'm okay now. I'll make it approved. So what will happen? It will go to the activated because already it is reached the status. So in the next video, what we'll discuss is, so we'll discuss about uh, we can create some sample uh, orders and how we can get that orders uh, quantity here, actual quantity, right? So uh, we'll see uh, in the next video of uh, creating orders and uh, calculate all these settings. Thanks, thanks for watching.